Hey, what's up guys? It's Kazooie here and welcome to episode 30 of Skill into Glory. And uh, the first thing we do in this episode is actually change squads. I decided to uh, to move from the main squad to the second squad because of some injuries and also because uh, the players in the main team were kind of low on fitness. And uh, then uh, we do go in what will be the first game of the episode. And we go up against a really, really strong looking team. 4-3-1-2 formation, three legends, a couple in forms. Just an amazing team to, uh, to start off with, really. So, um, yeah, it was us starting off with Dybala. Nice scoop turn, goes for a shot, hits the crossbar. And then, luckily, from the rebound, we managed to put it into the back of the net. A nice header from Dybala, who gives us the lead. Then, uh, in the 12th minute, it is him on the ball with the legend. That is Shevchenko. Goes for an outside foot shot and fires it into the back of the net like it's nothing. Makes it all even in the game already after 12 minutes. Then, uh, straight from kickover, there's actually uh, Pereira there on the ball there with some nice skill moves. Uh, lovely spin, beats two defenders in a row and puts it into the bottom corner as well like it's nothing. Really, really nice finish. Lovely uh, skill run and that uh, gives us a lead back again in this game. Then, uh, 26 minutes, again, I was trying to create something with Pereira. Unfortunately, that didn't really work out as planned. My opponent went on the counter with only like two passes or something. He hit the ball with Zola. And the only thing I could really do was bring up my goalkeeper and set some pressure with my defender. And because of that, I gave away a silly penalty, which, um, yeah, was the only thing to do, really, I guess. Uh, he obviously scores it with Gullet, makes it 2-2. Uh, makes again, makes it all even in the game. Really, really annoying, but that's what happens in FIFA. Then again, straight from kickoff, this time a lovely skill run there with Carrillo. Unfortunately, though, we couldn't finish this one off. Would have been really, really nice. Would have been the perfect kind of kind of way to actually get us back into the game. Um, then we move on and what will be the second half. Uh, we, uh, we got the ball there with Pereira. Lovely ball rolls and then we fire it into the top corner. Again, Pereira with the goal in his, uh, on his debut scoring two goals. Uh, actually, a really, really fun player to use who's quite cheap as well. And just a ridiculous player overall. Some really, really amazing stats uh, this year's ultimate team. Then uh, we continue on 55th minute. It is him on the ball with Ruth A bit of LTRT dribbling and then a near post shot. Couldn't really do anything apart from maybe giving away another penalty. And um, yeah, it's all even again in this game. Then uh, we're in the 81st minute. It is actually me on the ball there. I tried to create something, trying to, of course, uh, get that winning goal. Unfortunately, it did not really work out as planned because you can see he goes on the counter once again with Gullet. I tried to push him off the ball. I actually get pushed off the ball myself. And then you can see, again, a near post finish from Rutgold, making it 4-3 in his favor. And that is how the game ended. And when we're going to look at the stats, you're actually going to see that my opponent did not really create like that many chances in the game. He had four shots on target and managed to get himself four goals, even though we had a ridiculous amount of chances in the game. We couldn't really convert most of them, which was really, really disappointing because otherwise we probably would have won this game. Anyway, we're going to move on what will be the next game of the episode. And we basically come up against a team with uh, Leon players, also from, uh, I think, uh, Sante Chan and also Atletico Madrid. And it was us starting off in the 42nd minute with Dybala that plays on our throw to Pereira. We go for a shot there and he actually ends up hitting the crossbar from like 5 meters out or something. Couldn't believe it. The 45th minute uh, in extra time really. It's again Pereira on the ball. A nice scoop turn. Goes for a shot. And at the same time we actually get fouled from behind. Which means we pick up a penalty. And it's Dybala who steps up for it. His goalkeeper saves it though. Hits the post as well. And because of that we actually managed to put in the rebound with the man himself. That is Dybala. And uh, actually make it 1-0 in this game. Bit of a weird first half. Didn't not really create as many chances in the second half because after two minutes in the second half we make it 2-0 there I think with Pereira again and um, yeah we extend the lead then uh, 53rd minute a lovely ball from Dybala to uh, Tukabai goes to the finish lovely volley into the far corner making it 3-0 it was pretty much game over at this time and uh, you can see as well in the 58th minute my opponent decided to press start and he had enough he decided to leave which means we pick up another three points in, uh, in this division which is uh, really nice of course because I just want to get out of this division as soon as possible it's the third time and uh, I think uh, three times in one division is, is long enough. Anyway, we're going to move into the next game and uh, we come up against basically a Byron team with also Naldo, Piszczek and uh, Leno in the squad. But it was pretty much a Byron team. Some uh, some amazing players in the squad. So um, yeah, we start off in the 22nd minute with Pato. A good finish there from his goalkeeper. Then we head it with Correa to Vieto who goes with a scissor kick and finds the back of the net. Actually a really, really nice finish there. Lovely, uh, lovely goal making it 1-0 for us. Then a 39th minute, it's him on the ball there with Lewandowski with some short turns. Uh, plays it on through to Robin, plays it on through to Vidal. A nice uh, fake shot to beat my defender. I tried to go in with a slide tackle to block the shot, but that didn't really work out. And he makes it 1-1. A pretty nice goal for my opponent. Then uh, from a corner, he picks it up there with Mario Götze. He was pretty much standing still and he makes it 2-1 out of a shot from quite some distance actually. Like he was standing still with Götze. 
a really nice finish from outside box making it 2-1 for him then a 60th minute it is again uh, this time Thomas Müller on the ball I couldn't get him off the ball I was pressing B like so many times it didn't work and then when he was inside the box he walks into one of my defenders and uh, he picks up a penalty and it's himself who steps up for it makes it 3-1 at this point I thought it was going to be game over because in the second half we, we wouldn't really end up creating a lot of chance in the game and you can see 58th uh, minute as well 5 minutes before the game was about to end he makes it 4-1 and um, yeah I couldn't really couldn't really stand a chance against this team because he had like ridiculous players in his squad in the 90th minute though we got a big chance with Correa unfortunately we end up hitting the crossbar and that is how the game ended uh, you can see from the stats that like if you look at the stats and the score is really different I guess the score didn't really reflect how the game was because we did have some chances but again we couldn't really finish them off and to be fair though it was a uh, was a fair result because my opponent was just a better player anyway we're going to the final game we come against basically a Premier League team with a random three cam Dumbia in his team and uh, we start things off there with Fikir. Uh, we go with the finish, trying to reach for the far corner. Unfortunately, it just went wide. Then uh, 47 minutes into the second half. Look at how many defenders of his like were free. I just didn't understand what my defenders were doing. I didn't do like an offside trap or something, even though it looked like it. It was really weird. All of his attackers were pretty much free. And he taps it in, making it 1-0. Really annoying goal. Then in the second half, I saw here with Fakir. We got a big chance. A really, really bad shot, though. I couldn't believe it. I didn't even press B or something, even though it looked like a finesse shot. But we had some big chance in the second half. Here in the 86th minute as well, a shot from Fakir. But then from the remote, it is Lacazette, who makes it 1-1. Like four minutes uh, before the game was about to end. The 90th minute, it is actually Nani who goes through with a finesse shot and finds the back of the net, making it 2 1 in our favor and give us a lead. I seriously couldn't believe it. Like, the amount of pressure I had on this game was just crazy because, like, we were dominating, but we couldn't really score in this game. It was really annoying until four minutes before the game was about to end. And then 90th minute in extra time, we make it 3 1 as well with Lacazette. And that is how the game ends. And uh, you can see uh, we pick up another three points with Mies. We're currently on 12 points. And uh, that is actually really, really nice because we can't relegate anymore. We have four games left in order to pick up uh, 18 points in total. And uh, then we actually would promote to Division 2. So hopefully that will happen in the next, uh, next episode or something. But anyway, guys, that's going to be the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then make sure to leave a like. It would be very much appreciated. So I'd like to thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.